This is Ian, author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to show you a pretty neat trick to embed a Google Sheet spreadsheet on another website. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me, and let's get started. Here is the spreadsheet that I want to embed on other websites. I'm going to do it on two separate websites that I control. And what I want to do here, actually, is to have this spreadsheet show up on my other websites which have their own URLs. Here's one of the websites. It's excelin30minutes.com. This is uh, one of the websites for my companies. And then here's another one. This is um, uh, it, it's a, basically a website where we sell the book and other things. So I'm going, to, I'm going to basically have this spreadsheet show up on these two different websites under those two different URLs for each one of the respective websites. So it won't be, people won't be looking at a Google URL when they look at the spreadsheet. They'll be looking at you know, my company's URL, official uh, URL that I have for my website. So this is a WordPress website. This is a Shopify website. I'm going to embed this spreadsheet on it. So let's get started. So I've opened up this particular spreadsheet. By the way, uh, this will be the same if you're using uh, Windows PC, Mac OS, or a Chromebook, as long as you're logged in to your websites from those particular devices. And I also recommend using Google Chrome to open up the Google Sheet. And the reason is, is because Google Chrome works best with Google applications. That's just the way they've designed it. So I've opened up this particular spreadsheet. I'm going to File, Share, Publish to the Web. Okay. You'll come to this particular dialog. What you want to select is Embed. And then you have some options here. Entire document or Q3 data. So uh, what, what it's asking actually is if this particular spreadsheet had more than one uh, tab, more than one worksheet or workbook, I think that's what they call them, then they would all appear here. But in this particular case, there is only one tab, Q3 data. So I'm just going to use that one. Um, and I'm going to select publish. It says, are you sure what you want to do this? OK, I do. OK. so. There's this computer code here. It says iframe and then Google Docs and then spreadsheets and then a bunch of stuff that no one understands. This is basically the code. When I put it on the other websites, it will tell those other websites to render the spreadsheet that we're looking at. So I'm going to copy it. I basically selected it. And I can use a keyboard shortcut or just do right click copy. And then I'm going to go, let's go to the Shopify website first. I'm going to just create a blog post. And I'm going to say, uh, spreadsheet test. Uh, and then here is the embedded Google Sheets. Okay. Now I need to switch to HTML view. And when I say HTML view, that means the special language that websites use to be rendered on a, in a web browser. It's, it stands for hypertext markup language. This particular button here, it looks like two pointy brackets for this type of website, Shopify. It says show HTML. So I'm going to switch to that and get rid of this junk here. And then I'm going to paste in the text that I just took from here, from this uh, spreadsheet. So I'm going to do uh, right click, paste. And there it is. OK. I'm going to save it. And let's preview it. Oh, actually, there's a little preview down here. So I see it right there. But let's see what it looks like on the full size. So here is the embedded Google Sheet. And actually, there's an issue here. Uh, the issue is, is that I have to use these scroll bars to see on both sides. And maybe that's a limitation of the spreadsheet because it's a huge spreadsheet. But there's something I can do to make it a bit more visible. So if I want this, if I want this spreadsheet just to show up on the whole, like across the width here, I can change the width. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's go back to, to the Shopify. I'm going to switch to HTML again. And then right after, or actually right before this, uh, cl this, this closing pointy bracket here, I'm going to type in width equals quotation 800 close quotation. And then height equals 1200 uh, quotation mark. And basically what that's doing, I'm going to save it. Basically what that's doing is it's telling it, telling for the box that's holding the spreadsheet to be 800 pixels wide and 1200 pixels tall. Okay, so let's preview it again. And there we go. So that's a bit better. It's not perfect because the spreadsheet is so wide, but at least it's there. And the great thing about this is if I update this spreadsheet, like let's say that I was to um, 
change the dates here or the uh, selling fees they changed. If I update it here on Google Sheets, it will also be updated here, uh, here on this on the uh, embedded version of it on the Shopify site, as well as on my WordPress site. So I have a second site. It's a different type of site, but it uses the same idea. I'm going to create a blog post or a page and then switch to HTML view and then plug in that computer code. So let's do that right now. So new, I'm going to create a, yeah, just create a blog post. Now, um, this is using the WordPress classic editor. If you don't see a view like this, it's showing the, the block editor or Gutenberg editor or some other type of blocky type thing for entering text, you need to be able to switch to the HTML, HTML view somehow. If you're not able to do that, then go to plugins, add new, and then select the WordPress classic uh, editor, and you'll be able to do what I'm about to show you. So right now it's on, let's just give it a title, spreadsheet test. Here, whoops, here is the Google Sheet colon return. And then uh, this is a little bit different. It doesn't say, it doesn't have pointy brackets. It just says text, but that just means HTML. So it's the same deal. I'm going to delete that little extra bit of text there and then paste in this stuff. So let's do that again. So go to file, share, publish to the web, select embed. Uh, let's do, yeah, here it is. Here's the code. I'm going to copy that using a keyboard shortcut, um, or you can just do right click, copy, go over to WordPress, and then do right click, paste. There's the code. We have the same issue again, so I'm going to add that extra bit of code to tell the dimensions. And, and just, so you, just so you see what it is, it's this. Width equals 800, height equals 1200. I'm going to copy that, paste that right in here. I just pasted that in. And then there it is. And I could I could mess around with the the settings there, but you know there's various considerations in terms of how wide or how big that you want it to be on the page. But this this technique can basically work for any type of website where you can uh, use HTML code. If you can add HTML code and it and, and there's no restrictions on adding that type of embed code, then you should be able to do what I've just shown you, regardless of whether it's WordPress or Shopify or Google Blogger, or some other sort of tool for publishing information on the web. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And also, if you go to in30minutes.com, that's the official website for the book series, In 30 Minutes book series, including the book that I wrote, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It also covers Google Sheets, and you can get it at in30minutes.com. I'll also include the links in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching.